we got better than that young lady? We got Kenny and Jeff. Kenny and Jeff. Kenny's up right now. This is Kenny. The one that haywire. Right up 10. 10 in a pit. Should be a great match. Should be a great match. We had a bomb burner before this. We have Vernon Allen and Jeff. And Vernon missed a 10 pin and a ninth in the 10th frame to give Jeff an opening. Jeff came through with a double. That's all she wrote. Jeff moved on. Can't miss them single pin stairs. Get you every time. Back at Wayne Webb Columbus Bowl. Troy Stewart, sweeper. Happy birthday, Troy. That's a double for That was Kenny. <laughs> Jeff's up on lane 46. And that's a double apiece for Jeff and Kenny. We are a week away fans from the Barbasol ESPN Finals Players Championship next week here at Columbus Bowl. We got our double piece fans. Jeff is up right now. Lefty's playing 10. Ooh, Lisa Soft 7. 29 in the first for Jeff. Cross lane for Jeff for the spare. Right at it. Easy conversion. 49 for the second for Jeff. Kenny's up. Double working. You can take 11 pin lead if he strikes here. That's right, it's a scratch match, unlike last week with uh, the 67 pins. Exactly. Right in the pocket. Messenger's a little light. We cross lane for the spare at the 10. All tied up if he makes it. Oh, and he whisked us 10 pin, giving him 57 to three. Jeff has an early lead. Gotta make those spares. Gotta make those single pin spares. <clears throat> right on yeah. Kenny's back on it with a strike. Kenny averaged 245 in qualifying. Jeff after the sizzling 266 <coughs> through qualifying. The lefty has a great shot. Don't lefties always have a great look. <laughs> right up 10. And he capitalized on that open. Sure did. Working on the strike. 79 through 4. K 
can increase his lead to 22 pins for the strike here. Out. Back. There's the double. Max score for Jeff, 279. Max score for Kenny, 267. Kenny's up in the fifth ring. Right up 10. 10 in the pit. 10 in the pit. That high wire is a sweet ball. It is a very nice symmetrical ball. So what's Jeff throwing? I can't read what Jeff's throwing. It looks like uh, Ebonite. Kenny gets up from 15. Ten in the pit. Cuts the lead down to 11. To 12, I'm sorry. Got a big crowd here tonight, y'all. We got a huge crowd. For it to be what? Almost 1 o'clock in the morning? For it to be 1 o'clock in the morning, we had a huge crowd here tonight. A little late tonight. Very late. Morning, it was a big, big turnout. We had 160 bowlers at start, but down to the final two. Yeah. Jeff pulled it. Oh, no, yeah. through the nose. And he is a 115 to 5. A spare. He pulled it. And he got a break. He got it. Making the four or seven. I <laughs> give him a spare. Jeff has 117 in the field. Working on a spare. Going into the seventh frame. Gets it out and nails the pocket. One thirty-seven to six. Kenny can step up and tie this match. A good shot. Oh, week 10. One thirty five through six. For Kenny. With the conversion, he'd be down three pins. He's down three pins, going into the eighth. Hmm? Got something I can talk to? I'll commentate. I'm doing the commentation. You want you, you realize you want to do? I'm He's doing Yes, I've been doing it all. I've been doing it the last three weeks. I've been doing the commentation. Oh, well, come on into the booth. Come into the booth. You want me in the booth? Yeah. Guest speaker okay. in the booth? Yeah, we got a guest speaker, Tom Carter here, professional bowler. Oh. Uh, and looks like he grabbed on that one a little bit. He did. He did grab on that. Leaving the 316. Ball hooked up a little bit early. He cut it a little short on that. Throwing that haywire moves a little bit more. Same ball he's been using all day. Yeah. He's average, average 240, 245 early. Early in the in qualifying round, he had 245 with it. For the 316. Three, Not an easy spare to pick up, but he picked it up. He did. It was excellent. Got a possible 233 if he strikes out. But 
Right now, Jeff Rennie's got him on the ropes. He does. If he throws this one, he'll go up. That 10 pen he missed in the third frame at this level it probably shouldn't happen. What do right. you think? He never should miss. Never should. Missing spares always cost you. People go through enough. tournaments all the time and go, oh, I just missed by a little. And they never think about that one spare. They always think it's that strike they didn't carry in the 10th. Right. And you look back and, and the spares that you missed, you know, simple spares, because you think it's not important, you take it for granted, you throw the shot, and you miss it, and then you're complaining about the last shot you threw, thinking exactly. that's what cost you. Right. That didn't, didn't cost, cost you. you. It was the spare that they missed in the fourth, or the fifth, or the sixth. Or the spare in the second frame of the first game, they didn't even think mattered. Exactly. Every pin counts. Jeff for the three pin. He makes one spare and going into the eighth frame, going into the ninth. Jeff strikes out for a possible 237. He fills all the frames to a 233. We got a four pin match and this is a scratch game anyway. Scratch. Headed into the ninth frame. If you, Jeff actually kind of needs this because to get in the final tournament of the season, if he wins, that oh, puts him qualify? in the final tournament for the finals. Wow. Kenny Yoke, even if he wins, won't be able to make the final he tournament. Have enough. We bowled 27 tournaments in this round, and you've got to bowl at least 17 to make it to the finals. Switch or you got to bowl 13 tournaments and win one. Right. And this tournament here would be huge for him. Leave the switch of five, that opened up the door. Always want to set up the ninth frame with a strike if you can. Quality player like Jeff knows when he leaves a five pin, he, that just didn't come off his hand right. He didn't, the ball just didn't read it. He's throwing with something with 360. So you know that ball's gonna read up early and it's not gonna give you a lot of back end. So right. when it gets down there, it's gotta be in the right place. Otherwise that ball's gonna reflect too oh, much. Oh yeah, well that 360 also could burn up. So oh, yeah, burns up too quick. As that when the ball loses too much energy too fast. That's true, yep. Going into the ninth. Kenny's up. He has a chance to lock the door. On a haywire, playing around 15. He's out. Oh, the messenger! What yeah. a setup! If you watch Kenny, he's just a pure power player, old school power. He just hits up on it. He uses a lot of upper body strength. Probably not the kids' game today that you watch on tour, but it's a little bit older school. You know, he's using a lot of muscle, yes. which obviously on this pattern is working really well today. Definitely. He needs this next one to actually kind of make the door squeak a little bit. What a pressure. <laughs> he has 173 through the eighth with a strike working. Oh, the nail, the first one. 13 out to seven. Needs one more on the lock. One more locks up the game. Out. If he doesn't get this, that gives Jeff an opportunity to exactly. throw three in the tenth to win by just a few. Just a few. It only takes one, right? It only takes one. It's kind of like blackjack. It only takes <laughs> one. <right? laughs> you never know about the blackjack. You never know. You never know if the deal is holding. But a lot. Oh, little light. Didn't stay with it. Didn't hold it. That gives Jeff the opportunity to throw a double, double and double. get seven to shut the door. He's a double to win. I think he got a little amped on yeah, that. Didn't a little hold. bit too much speed. Ball didn't read the back end. Right, didn't hold a pulse. Sometimes when you get a little amped, you uh, start running out of the shot before you ever throw the shot. That's right. right. And unfortunately, then you don't have leverage at the line. The ball doesn't make the turn. If you ever watch Bell Ball, watch how he posts the shot. He posts every single shot. You watch the guys on TV, and they post shots. Oh. You know, and I, I coach a lot of college bowling and college coaches. This first thing they look for, if you can't post a shot, they're really not interested in you because 
they know that they got to teach you. Oh, the first one. The first one. Yeah, the first one. Most of the shots, kind of, to me, it's kind of like a sniper laying on the ground, mm -hmm. being really accurate, looking at his target. If you post a shot, you can repeat shots because you're solid at the line. Exactly. You know, if you're falling down every time you throw a shot, or you get a little amped and running it out too soon before you ever, actually ever throw it, your swing's not there. Mm -hmm. You know, your right. leverage is not there. It's not a good thing. This is for the match. Jeff needs a strike. This is a $500 shot. Right? $500 shot. $500 shot. Needs a strike and seven. Needs them all. A little like. And your winner is Kenny. Kenny Yoke. Kenny Yoke is the winner. Kenny yep. Go. $500. $500. $320 for second. $820 match, actually. What a, what a great tournament this was for the Choice to a Foundation. It was a great time. We had 100 and 160 bowlers. 160 bowlers we started with. Yep, 160 bowlers we started with at 7.30, and we're down to the top two. And two. There it was, man. That was a great time. Go down in there and do some interviews for us. You want me money, too? I know you got it. Congratulations, second place, great bowling. Uh, but you gotta tell me, as well as you can throw me, what happened that second shot in the tenth? Uh, just a hair wide. And I knew it. Ladies were playing tight, so I didn't want to get wide. But I started shaking my head. Do it. And we see that you're shaking your head as soon as you let it go, like, darn it. Great tournament. Thank you for the district. Thank the stewards for all their, everything they've done. We miss Troy tremendously. Love you, Troy. Our tournament winner. Yeah. Come on down. Yeah. Yeah. So we we, we got to talk. <laughs> it's not going to cover his bar bill. <laughs> You, you got to tell me. So double ten pin. You missed. You have that. But you came back in that second shot in the tenth. You thought it happened. You got a little quick. You think? Yes, I did. Yes, yes. So uh, you left the door open for Jeff, but everything worked out in your favor. Yes, I did. Congratulations on a great tournament. Not a problem. Now, you now, unfortunately, you haven't won enough tournaments, you don't get to bowl the end of the year tournament. Okay? Well, I think Jeff Ramey, you have qualified for the end of the year tournament. Okay. See you down the road. Congratulations. Troy Stewart, three games sweep. Right. Well, you win this again, March 16th.